Hey all you cool cats, this is Mina with another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It has been a very long time since I last played this game, and I may have forgotten stuff, but that's okay, because I need to get back into it. Um, hopefully everyone has been staying safe, and uh, we are on our way to looking for clues about Nia, so let's hope we can find some of those. Oh! Why, if it isn't a driver, just who I was hoping to see. Is something wrong? Well, you see, I've got loads of fruit now, thanks to this bumper harvest. And I was just thinking, I'd use it to make my famous fruit pie. Everyone gets a slice. I don't mean to brag, but everyone who tries my pie says it's something special. Yes, ask anyone. Taiwana's pie, the tastiest in all of Torigoth. My husband nearly bursts his breeches, stuffing himself when I make it. It was because of my pies that he wanted to marry me, he said. Oh, I'm sorry, I got a bit carried away, blowing my own trumpet there. So the problem is, I'm actually a bit short of some of the things I need for my pie. The traders around here are hopeless for ingredients, so I was hoping some kind person would get them for me. Rex, shall we get to work on this right away? With you by my side, Pyra, I'm up to any challenge. That's very kind of you. Could you get me a nice bit of Hustle Hikinth and some mint fish? It's not just the same without those special ingredients. All right, fresh and fruity received. Um, we're just gonna pick up these quests. I don't wanna immediately go do them. We can worry about, um, getting this other stuff later. Let's talk to this guy. So, I moved my family here from Mordain because I heard it was a really safe place to live. A fight between those Torna terrorists and Mordain's Mor finest blade is not what I signed up for. I just want my wife and daughter to have a peaceful life, but at this rate, it seems this isn't it. That's not good. I hope all this gets sorted out sooner than later. It feels like the whole city's on edge. Did you know there are special enemies called unique monsters? They're supposedly to be absurdly powerful, far stronger than your average monster. If you pick a fight with one of them unprepared, it'll be curtains for you. I've heard some grisly tales. Ah, the mere thought. Ugh. Don't you go charging in without knowing what you're getting yourself into first, do you hear? Roger. Have you heard of anything about a girl called Nia who was captured by the Ardanians recently? Oh yeah, I heard something interesting. Apparently the Torna member that the Ardanian Empire captured was some Gormati girl called Nia. Nia. That name sounds familiar somehow. Didn't the old Lord of Ashel a decade or so ago have... Actually, let's not talk about that. It's not a happy thing to think about. Thank you so much! Well, that was useful. I think we might as well talk to anybody with these little stars next to their name because it unlocks stuff, I think, kind of. Yowch, that's going to leave a bruise. The worst part about being head of security is having to report to my boss. He's such a jerk. In fact, you better not distract me or I'll get an earful again. We've got to keep on the lookout for the, this blade with a green core crystal. Yeah. And arrived. <laughs> All in one piece. Hi there. Hey, have you heard of Tori Gonda? Well, it's the instrument that I'm playing right now. I'm up every night practicing, but I'm still not good enough. Us Gormati love music after all. I won't be a proper adult until I can pull off a flawless performance. Okay. I don't know anything about that. But the grown-ups do seem to be talking about a secret, complicated stuff a lot lately. Apparently there are some kind of dangerous people causing trouble. It's only been ten years since the war between Mordain and Ura Uraya ended. Why would they stir up more trouble? Sounds like a real pain. I hope the Ardanian soldiers will be able to protect us. Did Rex Rex now? They're recruiting over there for new drivers. Yeah, I saw that earlier when we first arrived in the city. Rex Rex should try too. Chance of success basically 100%. I'm wanted by the Ardanian Empire right now, remember? Seems like a bad idea to make myself conspicuous. Rex Rex, make good point. 
<laughs> Tora was just too curious to see what kind of a blade Rex Rex awaken. At any rate, I don't need to awaken a blade, do I? I've already got Pyra. Come on now, Rex, don't tell me you thought drivers could only bond with a single blade. What? Is that not right? Not at all. Many drivers have more than one. With Nia gone, we're a bit short on numbers now. We might not hold up all that well in a fight. Perhaps it would be actually a good idea to get yourself a new blade. A new blade opens up new possibilities in battle, after all. Hmm. It would stop you from putting so much strain on Pyra as well. Seems like a good thing all around, if you ask me. Well, if Pyra doesn't mind, I guess it couldn't hurt to try. I don't have any objections. The more the merrier. Then it's settled. The question is, where are we going to get ourselves a core crystal? Now that's one question I can't answer. I just happen to have one stored away for such, for just such an occasion. My gramps hide core crystal with such small body. The key to awakening a new blade is to foster a powerful resonance with the driver's spirit. Focus your whole mind on the core crystal as you touch it and try to hold a clear picture in your mind of the blade you wish to awaken. I'm not sure I really understand, but I'll give it a try. I hope you'll awaken a wonderful blade. Okay, we're going through this tutorial to bond with a core crystal. Um, so... We'll watch it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a generic fist one. I'll lend you my strength. Rex's ability to resonate with core crystals has been unlocked. You can bond with a blade at any time by going into main menu blades, bond blade. Core crystals aren't much use just lying around, so it can't hurt to resonate with them and see what you get. Also, the higher a driver's luck stat value, the better their chances of awakening certain very special blades. Once you have yourself a new blade, you'll need to engage it so you can take part in battle. Add blades to your battle party and main menu characters, character setup, engage blades. Up until now, Rex has had to rely on Pyra alone for support in battle, but now you'll be able to engage a variety of other blades and expand your support options. To take advantage of different blades in battle, press the directional button corresponding to each blade face icon and perform a blade switch. In no time at all, the blade who was previously supporting you will retreat and a new blade will take their place on the battlefield. Of course, switching blades will change both your weapon and your available arts. Different weapons have different benefits and drawbacks in battle, so use blade switches tactically after considering the current situation. That looks like a good one. Meh meh. Fur always stand on end when Taurus see driver resonate with crystal. So cool. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're making me feel weird. Well, looks like we got a new recruit anyway. Let's go and find out what happened to Nia. Rex, not so fast. Huh? What's up? Aren't you going to kit your new blade out? You can tune up the weapon with the core chip from the smithy there. If Rex Rex never used core chip before, then now a very good time to start. You can really tell the difference between a driver who uses core chips and one who doesn't. I'm starting to understand. Now for the main topic. That over there is an ox core shop. I don't suppose you had to call to go in there before you became a driver. You're right about that. I used to wonder what all that strange gear was for though. Perhaps we should head over and give it a try then. Of course, are just the thing for supplementing a blade's power. There are all different types. Some boost defense, some make strong against insects, or stronger at nighttime. Meh. The number of ox cores you can equip varies from blade to blade, mind. Interesting stuff. Now, this is the important part, so listen up. Usually, when you get an ox core, it's an empty state. You won't boost your blade with it empty. Okay, so how do you fix that then? 
Huh, I see. So this gizmo here makes ox cores usable. You catch on fast. That's right. That machine takes collectibles and raw ox cores and refines them into something useful. Here's one you can have a go with. I've been saving it up just for this very occasion. Max X, best not think about where he stash it. Yes, Tor is right about that. It's not much good without collectibles, though. Here. Meh meh, he really had a lot stashed away there. You're good to go, Rex. Refine it. Got it. And as soon as we're done, let's go and look for some info about Nia. Alright. <laughs> Since you're standing in front of an ox core shop let's revisit the topic of ox cores for a moment at shops like these you can get your ox cores refined you'll need collectible items to refine ox cores the number of collectible items you need is defined individually for each ox core once you've had all the collectibles you need you can head to the shop to get your ox core refined watch out the higher the value of an ox core the more difficult it's likely to be to find all of the necessary items if you want to be able to refine your ox cores as soon as you get them you'll need to always be on the lookout for collection points on your travels ox cores can be equipped to blades in main menu characters blade setup equip ox cores ha all right <laughs> What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go out and I'm going to go collect some blade cores and then we'll we'll be able to really make some headway here. So I'll be back once I've collected a few of those and we will start rolling for some new blades. <laughs> Okay, bring it on. Ha! Let's keep this up and we'll win for sure. Anchor shot. Ha! Ha! Get the so word and I will fast. unleash my fire. I'll keep you safe, Pyra. Salvage's honor. Thank you. That means a lot to Treasure me. Treasure acquired. My heart is pure and my will unbreakable. So I'll show you. Okay, time to take you down. Come here, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! Focus! Why not? Looking good! Bullet punch! Ha! Nah! -uh. Grand smash! Ha! See that usually drops. Why not? Feral uppercut! Some good heals. Focus! Ha! Why not? Ha! Stay away, creep. Much obliged. Bullet to punch. Go on your mark. Gotcha. Yeah. Grand we'll smash. We'll have to keep up this relationship. We'll beat them with the power of friendship. Pyra. <laughs> Leave it to me. Yeah. 
Let's sword go. Sword bash. Double spinning edge. Yeah. Anchor Our shot. emotions are in ha. tune, Rex. My thoughts He's exactly. Going poorly. Rex, save yourself. Why not? Got Hit it. it. No. Let's do this. Prominence, revolt. Let's keep this up, and we'll win Why for not? sure. My thoughts exactly. And there you Have go. Have you considered taking the lead sometime, Hyra? I'll think about it next time, Azurda. Who dares call upon Vale? You'll rue the day. Ah! Take this! Anyway, I'm Vale. Pleased to meet ya. So, as you can see, I've pulled a couple of blades, and I know I've been told don't pull blades on Rex, because reasons. Um, but I, I won't pull any more blades for now on Rex. Um, so, but I also know that you can trade blades off of him. Um, through some means. I don't know specifically how, but I know that you can. So, I didn't pull too many. Uh, hopefully they're blades that are either good for him or um, uh, at least usable. So, I, I have, as you saw, Vale, Agate, Korra, and Zenobia. Um, I haven't been doing anything with them. Controls are just as clunky and delightful as I remember. Where's the uh, quest person? Oh, they're up here. Let's do the quests. Have you heard anything about a girl called Nia who was captured by the Ardanians recently? Mm, can't say I have. If it's information you're after, why don't you go visit the informant over near Lasio Greens? He's one crafty little nope on. There's not much he doesn't know. Thank you so much. Alright. Who are you people? Uh oh, maybe it wasn't a good idea to ask an Ardanian soldier. Um, but there was something I wanted to ask, but now I've clean forgotten what it was. <laughs> if it's information, you have to go pay for it at a local informant. Chatting with the populace isn't our job, you understand. I'm so glad he didn't, like, lock me up and throw me in the uh, slammer. What is... <laughs> um, to really know this, of course, but to really is informant by trade cannot provide information without proper compensation. A Gormati girl is imprisoned on a Titan battleship. Her identity is unknown. Thank you so much for custom. Inside Titan Battleship, Gormoti Girl being held prisoner. Unfortunately, Toruni not yet receive intelligence specifying prisoner name. But rumors say Big Ship arrived for sole purpose of holding one measly girl. People of Gormot getting along quite well with Empire nowadays, so trouble like this is not very welcome. That seemed to be opinion of most Torigoth resident. That about extent of information, Toruni know. Enough to satisfy friends? Thanks so much. All right. Bum, bum. The race to find Nia. All right. Nia and Dromark executed. It doesn't bear thinking about. But getting aboard that warship will be no mean feat. We're going to need an ironclad plan. Army port is under heavy guard. I guess we'll just have to mount a full-on attack. No, Rex, we can't put everyone in danger. Right, sorry. <laughs> there. This is one of the Grand Arbor's routes, right? If this map is correct, it goes all the way from the key to the hull of the warship. And here, it looks like some kind of cargo entrance. 
Could we sneak on that way? Oh, right. No one will spot us if we sneak in from below. Security light around this entrance. At night, not even workers here. Looks like this is our only option. Then it's a plan. <laughs> Tora? Tora have something to show you. What's this then? Nobody ever see this before. Secret of Torah. An artificial blade. An artificial blade? I can't believe it. Torah have always wanted to be driver of blade. But Torah. Uh, Torah has no potential to awaken Core Crystal. How could you know that? Surely you just have to try and. Oh. You did, didn't you? Yes, one year ago. Tora applied to drive a recruitment man. Oh, dearie me. Oh, Tora, you mean you... It was bad. Tora had nosebleed for three days. Oh, gross. <laughs> Just a nosebleed. What you mean, just? People die from loss of blood, you know? Yeah, but from a nosebleed. Anyway, moving on. For a near-death experience, you're awfully casual about this. Anyway, back to Tora's blade. When complete, even no potential Tora can be a driver. This is simply incredible. You built this blade from scratch, Tora? It was started by Grampy Pon and Dada Pon. But Grampy Pon die, and Tora still not know where Dada Pon go to. <laughs> oh. So Tora will finish Blade myself and become a driver like always wanted. Then Dada Pon hear about Tora's success and come back home, yes? Oh, Tora. By the by. Tora, uh, this blade, as far as I can see, it looks complete. What is there left to do? <laughs> All Tora have left to do is buy missing parts. But Tora have no money at all. Oh, really? Really? Nothing. At all. Not even one gold. So you're asking for a loan? Loan? <laughs> closer to generous donation. Just like a knock on. <laughs> Always shrewd when it comes to gold. But, but, but if Tora completes artificial blade, combat capabilities will be big help on mission. Well, yeah. If it works, you may have a point. So, how much exactly do you need? No more than 60,000 gold. 60,000? Do you want a kidney as well? <laughs> Calm down, Rex. I think we owe Tora our help. If it's just money he needs, I may be able to assist. Assist? How exactly? Nothing illegal. I hope. Don't even joke, Gramps. This is a natural crystal. It should fetch around 60,000. No way. We can't let you sell that. But... No, it wouldn't be right. That's it, I'm paying for the parts myself. Very admirable. Mama! Rex Rex is too generous. This blade of yours had better be seriously useful though, Tora. Right? Uh, leave that to Tora. Well then, let's go, I guess. Yippee! Will they really be okay? I suppose they'll have to be. Alright, so the mission to get his blade going begins. I remember this part. <laughs> so, what do you actually need to finish this artificial blade? One perfect range sensor and three bion connectors. I don't think I've ever heard of either of those. Perfect range sensor supplements function of eyes and artificial blade. Quite pricey item, but very important. And the bion connectors? 
They have many uses, but mostly to prevent hat fall off. Wouldn't an ordinary piece of string not suffice? So, um, where can we buy these items? At Margia's Odds and Ends! It just off to the left after entering Torgoth City. I'm sure we must have walked past that area before. Alright, let's go! Oh, there's a collection point. What have we here? Heck yeah. Give me those. Alright. When did it get so late? Oh, and I've started glowing. I'm a bit self conscious. <laughs> there we go. Well, hello there. Tora here to buy perfect range sensor and bion connectors. Ah, uh, you're the young Nopon who was gazing longingly at those the other day. Meh meh, you noticed? Well, considering you were staring for three hours straight. But I'm dreadfully sorry. We're all out of perfect range sensors right now. We've still got plenty of bion connectors still, though. They're 4,000 apiece. 12,000 for three of them, huh? That really is pretty pricey. Rex Rex promised to pay whole amount, no backsies. I mean, sure, I'm not about to go back on my word, but hmm. Are you one of those salvagers? Yep, I may not look it, but I'm actually a professional at it. Then maybe you could get a bion connector that way. Apparently they fish around, they fish the things up quite regularly around this season. Now that's not a bad idea. Let's give it a try. Good luck, Rex Rex. I'll um, cheer you on too. I mean, the real problem is the perfect range sensor. Could we not salvage that as well? Don't think I've heard of any likely spots for those lately. They're almost impossible to find except when the titans and the clouds see a line in the right way. And even if we did find a spot where they might show up, we'd need a lot of luck to actually bag one. We don't exactly have time to waste, so perhaps salvaging isn't the answer. Hey, can I ask you something? From the looks of it, this young lady here is a blade and you're her driver, am I right? Huh? Is that what it looks like? Wait one moment, please. Rex Rex and Tora also blade, actually. Does that make me the driver? Surely the driver would have to be me. Can we try to be a little believable here? We need to sort out our stories. Hey now, no need to get your knockers in a twist. I'm just a regular botanist. Botanist? Tor would never have guessed. I get that a lot. Thing is, I was heading to La Chambre Island for a bit of field work, but I ran into a bit of monster trouble. I tried asking the Imperial Army to help me out, but it looks like they're pretty busy right now. So I figure if you lot are decent at fighting, maybe you could take care of the issue for me. If you help me out, I might just be able to spare a perfect range sensor I've got lying around in storage. Well, that sounds perfect. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. Asham Island isn't hard to find. You see it to the left as you exit the city through the main entrance. Just take care of the jupin crabble you find there. And be careful, they can be vicious. Alright. No problem. I might have already obtained um, some Bion connectors. Yeah, see? I already have it. I did salvaging! <laughs> I promised I did. Um, so now... Wait, that's the wrong way. We need to go this way. So we have to go this way, and he said to the left? This is where I don't remember aspects of this game, if I'm being honest. Oh, but the, the cloud sea is cloudy. Is it down here? Okay, no, it might not be. It's actually probably okay. It's further out that way. All right. Oh, like the foe, that oh one. geez. Ow! How about you let me be? Thank goodness. Wait, 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 where am I going? Holy smokes! Listen, I'm just here. Ooh. 
I'm here for a crabble, but definitely not these crabbles. What the heck? What's with all these stupidly high-level crabbles? It's this one. Okay, thank goodness. That must be the monster Sedwin was talking about. Doesn't look like a pushover, that's for sure. Tor, I wish, could help too, but probably not much good for anything other than decoy or lure. No need for any of that. We can handle this one just fine, right, Pyra? Absolutely. No need to rely on just my power, though. You should make full use of all your blades. Indeed, we may only have one driver, but twice the blades meets twice the potential. Good point, I'll remember that. Alright, let's do this! Yes, I've been using that generic blade. <laughs> Quite a bit. If they seek a fight, they shall get one. Okay. Okay, wherever those level 40 yeah. things went, they're gone now. Yeah! Let's keep this up yeah. and we'll win for sure. I like your at anchor shot. Ha! Why not? Not to boast. Okay. That was spectacular. Thanks for right, the grunts. common core. Remember, Rex, pride comes before a fall. Okay. Um I really don't like being here. <laughs> so if we could just teleport back to Tori Goth. Yeah, just teleport me back there. Holy smokes. Level 42 monsters? Are you kidding me? Oh, there you are. Oh, hey, you're back. Took out that jupe and crabble, did you? I knew I made the right call asking you guys. Here's the perfect range sensor, as promised. Thank you so much. You had it lying around since my grandpa's generation, so it's a bit dusty, but it should work just fine. Thanks for all your help. Everything should be fine now. All right. It's really complete. Very complete. Just need to apply energy charge to activate. Tora, our friend's execution draws near. There's no time to lose. Make haste. I know, I know. Oh, okay, artificial blade. It's wakey wakey that time. Won't do, Tora. What, what what Tora do wrong? You can't keep calling her artificial blade. As her creator, the least you can do is give her a proper name. Oh, um, well... Actually, friends, Tora did think of name for her. Very good name. Nice. Then I guess there's no problem. Well, why don't you introduce us, Tora? Right away! Now, wakey, wakey! Tora's very own blade! Oh, Poppy! <gasps> Poppy? Master. <laughs> oh, 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 wait a minute! Oh, forget you see that. Tora must change the settings. <clears throat> the settings? Uh, this time should be okay. Second time go best. Power on! <laughs> Master Pawn? I... I did it! Taurus Masterpiece! World's first artificial blade! Poppy! 
Whoa! Incredible! That is really quite something. Tora did good, huh? You're impressed? Tora is a very big success? Absolutely. You're amazing, Tora. Though I was pretty surprised before when she was all, you know. Forget about it. That's not Tora's fault. Th that was, um, Grampy Pond. Grampy Pond Susie made settings. <laughs> yes, definitely Grampy Pond's fault. <laughs> Are you sure, Tora? Yes! Grumpy Pon! <clears throat> yes! Meh, meh. Well, let's not dwell on that. Rex, <laughs> let's go rescue Nia and Drolark. No time to lose! Meh, meh. Anyway, my name Poppy. Poppy try hard to make Master Pond proud. I do like how Poppy looks. Oh, yeah. That shrew thinks she owns the place. Just because she curries favor with the Emperor. If only I'd got the Aegis myself, I could have returned home in triumph. Or sold her to Banna for a tiny sum. But it's not over. I refuse to let this place be the end of me. I will not be left to rot in this flea-bitten backwater. Captain Patrick! Uh, yes, sir. Double the number of guardsmen. Round up whoever you can find. We're going to find that Aegis before Morag gets her paws on her! So, as you wish, sir. Watch and learn, Morag Ladell. <laughs> it's that blade. Before we leaving, Tor want to explain something to Rex Rex and Poppy. Explain what, Master Pon? It about this advanced gaming device. I did wonder what that thing was for, so it's for playing games? Yes, game is called Tagger Tagger. It's hidden gem that Grampy Pon make for Tora when Tora was little Pon. It looks like it's seen some better days. Tora turned on power just now, so should be possible to play. Rex Rex, give game a try. Hmm. Does sound kind of fun, but I wouldn't want to get hooked on a game while Nia needs rescuing. Wait, wait, wait! Playing this game can earn prizes! Special parts for Power Up Poppy! Parts for Poppy? Grampy Pond make this game in hopes that it reveal true purpose when Poppy finally complete. So if friends think Poppy a bit weak, or just want more amazing power, play the game and get new upgrade. I guess that makes sense. I'll give it a go then. That is wise decision. Shall Tori explain basics? After all, Rex Rex is a little wet behind the ears. Use directional buttons to move. Use A button to attack. So that is basics. Tori let Rex Rex figure out rest by Rex's self. Learning is best doing. Learning is best by doing meh. Tiger, tiger, go! Okay, let's do easy. Oh gosh. Oh right, right, there's a button to grab things with. Oh, I can- I can hit monsters with it. Okay. Oh, turtles can't be hit by the thing! Ugh. Oof. It's so hard. Ah! I think the red one can't be 
hit with the the thing. Dang it, it's so hard. Okay, let's try that again. Oof. Skills of Rex Rex quite impressive. Rex, not pro salvager for nothing. You think so? I think your experience as salvaging really came in useful. Not that I don't appreciate the compliments, but we should hurry and rescue Nia. I didn't I didn't <laughs> succeed, so how are we gonna get into the Titan battleship where Nia's being held? As luck would have it, the cloud sea looks to be ebbing just now. We had best aim for root, the root, Pyra mentioned. The root was stretchy, stretching past Gara Gorm's Ark. From here, it is easiest to go up to top of stairs, cross bridge, then pass under gate. Then you're at Gara Gorm's Ark. Will our Danian guards not spot us? Area around our Danian base, heavily guarded, but up to Gara Gorm's Ark should be no problem. Alright, let's head there for now. Poppy will do best to help. Okay. Party formation has changed. Alright, so. Behold Poppy, the world's first artificial blade. Poppy can't equip ox cores, but she has something just as good for customizing her abilities. Poppy Swap. You can access Poppy Swap by going into Main Menu, Characters, Blade Setup, Poppy Alpha, Poppy Swap. To make use of Poppy Swap feature, you'll need to get hold of certain items via Tiger Tiger game. Play Tiger Tiger as much as you can to make Poppy into our best self. Come out, come <clears> out. I know there's like DLC for this game that I, I haven't um obtained. Uh so we'll see about that, but I see. Okay, so we're just gonna leave Poppy as is for now. I don't quite know how to manage Poppy <laughs> at the moment. I don't think I ever managed Poppy <laughs> when I played the game before, so I mean, that's just something I'll have to figure out. Oh, treasure trove. Treasure acquired. Poppy power. Leave Napon to Poppy. Ooh. Bunch of stuff. Cool. Maybe you guys should go inside. <laughs> Standing out here in the rain can't be healthy. There is Titan warship. Hmm. Quite the impressive Titan. Another sign that Morardain is readying once more for war with Uriah. Look. That route goes right to the ship, just like Pyra said. Yes, yes! We should be able to climb down over here. Let's go. Okay. Off we go! Understood. Huh. The one thing I did download was um, the Japanese voice huh. acting. Um, come not, out, come out. Not because I, I really cared to listen to it one way or another, but um, in combat, <laughs> sometimes what the characters say get on gets on my nerves just because it's very repetitive. And at least when it's in Japanese, it doesn't bug me as much. Also, I remembered struggling to find this when I was first playing, which is I, because like I, I'm telling you, I must have spent like <laughs> a solid hour looking for this. I I don't want to say it's difficult now that I know where it's at, but man, when I was first playing, I just couldn't find it. So now. I have, like, a very strong memory. Of it all. What have we here? There's no way I can forget it. Wow! World has many amazing... 
amazing places in it. Perhaps rest and enjoy view for a bit. And I know, like, with what ease I went to find this. I, I think I was just looking for, like, some sort of, like, well-designed path, I guess, when I was first coming around, and I didn't expect to just, like, drop off the map. <laughs> like, I don't know. My brain was just, like, looking for, like, a, a, a path, which was silly, but... I mean, it looks silly that it took me that long now, especially, but you get what I mean. Looks pretty high. Give me a moment. Pyra, you first. I'll pull you up, so hold tight. So heavy. What? What did you say? Huh? Yow! Now look here, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just go and call a lady heavy. Oh, Rex Rex, a little tactless. <sighs> Sorry about that. I guess I was just surprised. No, no, it's not your fault. I... Oh, she heavier than Tora for sure. <laughs> but that just means Pyra grown to impressive height. It is good thing. Pyra should be proud. <laughs> Poppy pull Pyra up. Please, grab again. <laughs> nice, Poppy. Poppy artificial blade. This is no problem. Poppy could lift Gonzalez if necessary. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm guessing blades are heavier than they appear. Oh, collection. Come out, come out. Heck yes. If they seek a fight, All they right. shall get one. If you want to fight me. Puppy will protect yeah. Master Khan. Thanks, Poppy. Oh God! Focus. Why not? Spinning. Cut out. I forgot yeah, the man. thing that I hated the most. Yeah. Please leave Bullet. it to Tora. It's just how much Tora Grand needs smash. to talk. <laughs> Spinning. Why Cut not? Looking good. We make a good team. I could have done this blindfolded. It must have sensed our skills. Keep eye on it, man. <laughs> Poppy will protect Master Pond. Thanks for the support! If, if like, I could offer, like, ah, one criticism to any video Looking game ahead. maker out there. Like your bullet punch. Please leave it yeah. to Tara! Gotcha! You, you need to, like, lower the amount of dialogue a character Let's show him a thing or three. puts out there. This is one fight we can't ha. back out of. Yeah. I'm not talking, like... No! You, you know. fight Poppy. Yeah, yeah. No dialogue at all or anything, but like my thoughts exactly. Spinning. Yeah. Kata. Just slow it down a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ha. Steady <sighs> drill. Hmm. Splendid. Because otherwise it gets that much. What have we here? Obviously, for the purposes of the Let's Play, I'm keeping it on English, but man, I would definitely be on Japanese right now. In fact, I don't know what Taurus sounds like in Japanese. Shall we, shall we investigate? Hopefully we don't have any, uh... Battle narration. Oh. Can I just turn that completely off? Do you think it will stop it completely? Yeah. 
No, it doesn't change anything. Ha! Take this! They still exactly. talk as well. Like, what is with that option? Blocked from the other side. Okay, fair enough. Uh, is this the door? Poppy power! Calm your mind. I assume this is how we're supposed to get in. Master Pond, Poppy can feel there is a blade in the vicinity. Oh, but how can Poppy tell that? Unclear. Poppy feel other blade like wave in air. Huh. I'm not sure I get it, but maybe Dromark is nearby. Let's try opening up some of these doors. Maybe don't stand there? Um... I didn't hurt anyone, did I? Everyone check your eyebrows. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hard to judge the power sometimes. Pyra. Rex. Dromark. It's good to see you alive. It very good! See, Master Pond? There was a blade here. Master Titan, and forgive me, but who are they? Dromark, we don't have much time. Do you know where Nia is? But of course, we are in residence after all. I feel her presence. Then let's go. We can't let her get executed. Indeed, this way. Excellent. Um... <clears throat> Was there anything inside here? Ooh, treasure. You're all mine. Heck yes. Let's go ahead and take all of those. I'm guessing they're all locked. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. You know, sometimes you just gotta check. Let's show them a thing or three. Tora hungry and coming for them. Focus. Why not? I like how those guards are just letting me beat this guy up. Yeah, don't stop me. Okay. Watch yourself, Rex. Mind you don't fall here. You we can't go through that. Behave. Behave. Man. Our emotions are in tune, right. Rex. Mm. Splendid. Go on. Raise us some more. So, we'll come back around. Ah, this was opening up that chest from before. You're all mine. Up. Oh. oh. So, that was one big circle, which is good. That means we don't have to worry about coming back around. Okay, bring it up. Oh, there's a door. Oh, this is the valve. Poppy power. 
there. Oh my gosh. Calm your mind. I'm an idiot. Wow! Wealth has many amazing places in it! Perhaps rest and enjoy view for a bit. Okay, well, that doesn't work. Should I go through here first? Now let's go this way first. It's a room full of these jerks. Okay. Up. Cool. I didn't want to have to fight every last one of those. Treasure acquired. I love how we're just standing behind that guy. No doubt about it. That's the place. Who are you people? They're the terrorist friends. We are her friends, but I won't let you call her a terrorist. Okay, time Get to them. take you down. Ta! Don't forget them. Poppy. Take this. You're done! Defense Go for it! Let's do this! Take! There we go. Jin? You all right, Nia? Rex, you... My lady, apologies for my late arrival. Don't mention it. I didn't think anyone was coming at all. As if we'd leave you. Always help those who help you. That's the second rule of the Salvages Code. Well, that's you all over, ain't it? <laughs> Rex, Rex! Tora has found escape route! Hurry, hurry! Anopon? He has been of some assistance. We made a new friend. Uh, nice to meet you. Well, I think we've overstayed our welcome here. Time to get moving. Time to get moving! Absolutely. I'm so glad to have Nia here. Looks like you got Nia back safe and sound. Now that you got three members in your party, I should explain about roles and classes. Blades are born with a role. Attackers, healers, tanks, for example. Pirate is an attacker and Dromark is a healer. The types of blade that a driver engages will determine their fighting style. Each driver's fighting style will fall into certain categories called classes. Some classes emphasize attack, some defense, or some strike a balance between roles, and each class its own special effects. It's up to you whether you want to engage your favorite blades or strategically select blades to achieve a certain class. Do whatever's best for your playstyle. Generally, blades can't change roles. As an artificial blade, Poppy is the exception. She can change her role using her Poppy Swap feature. Try your hand at Tiger Tiger to try and get a hold of roll CPUs that you'll need to change Poppy's role in Poppy Swap. Now if you got all that, let's get back to the game and make our escape. Got level 1 access key. Alright. So I'm definitely going to see if I can um, pull some blades on the first because pulling blades is fun. <laughs> <laughs> At your service. I bet you can't keep up with me. <laughs> Going fast sure makes me super hungry. I will eat everything that all rest has to offer.
I'm Adenine. I aim to fulfill my intellectual needs through mediums other than books. Time to travel the great wide world and stimulate the synapses. So yeah, um... As I was saying earlier, I might, I might edit it out because I, uh... I kind of got distracted and there was like a bunch of noise going on, but, um, I, I ended up pulling the pity blade on, um, Rex because I had been keeping count because I'm weird like that. I've been writing down how many each pull was to getting towards the pity and I didn't know what the pity was going to be, but I figured I didn't want it on Nia based on like the odds of what it could be. I didn't really want Adenine on Rex, but like I said, I can move these off of him. Um, I think. Uh, Boreas on Nia is fine, I think. Because I think she's good with the, the little bit balls. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure someone in the comment section will, like, tell me what I've been doing horribly wrong. But I, that was my last poll, so... Um, yeah. I don't know if these... Okay, it's locked. Did you have anything inside here? It didn't look like it in the cutscene. What do I know? Alright. We've got a full party. I feel like I want to, like, mess these things up. Just to teach them a lesson. No, I won't. It's fine. Um... Oh yeah, the mess hall. Ha! You're dark! Double spinning! <laughs> spinning! <laughs> Cutter! Nia always looks so happy riding on drones. Grab those back. vegetables for you. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and open up this treasure chest. I don't know if there's anything else in this area. Let's try to not aggro the entire world please. Looks like it's this way to the hangar. Sounds like a way out of here. Meh meh meh! Door is locked! No way to open! Even Poppy probably not able to break through this. But we're so close! Rex, take a look over there. Good eyes! Could that be the switch to open it? We don't have many options but to try. If it does open the door, we will surely be able to escape through the hangar. Then what are we waiting for? Looks like we have to leave this room for now and find a way up there. Hangar division console. There's no power. Okay, so that's fair. That's what we just discussed. Um, a level 2 access key. That was probably useful to find. Because that doesn't have any power going to it. But, so that means we head back out. Surely there's a way to go upstairs. Splendid's too. Alright. So... We got an access key too, but I don't know what that unlocks. Oh, does it unlock this? It does! Alright, we're getting somewhere. It's It's been years since I played this the first time around, so I don't... I don't remember so much about this game, so... In case you're worried about, like, this being a blind playthrough, it practically is. Oh, that doesn't seem right. Ugh, I mean, I guess... Wow! World has many amazing places in it! Perhaps rest and enjoy view for a bit. <laughs> Look at how Poppy walks.
port to deck. Well, I mean... I'm sure I'm not supposed to jump off. Starboard You're deck. all mine. Let's grab loot. That's where I came from. Well, let's fight let's him. Show him a thing or three. Uh, mm, splendid. I could have done this blindfolded. Treasure acquired. Loot. Okay, I figured there would be like a console I could touch here, but there ain't anything. Probably work with the key. See that icon over there? It indicates a lo location of a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Heart-to-hearts are important events that let your party members grow closer together as friends. You'll run into these icons all over Alras, so it's a good idea to check them out as soon as you encounter them. To view a heart-to-heart, -heart, you need to have the right people present in your party at the right time of day. You can view the conditions by accessing the icon. The more heart-to-hearts you view, the bond of trust and affinity between you and your blade will de deepen. Okay. What does this do? Oh. Et voila. And this probably powers up that console? Yep. I haven't fully explored this place I'm though. I'm going all in. I don't know. The inside of a Titan battleship is way different from a Monocera, sir. Eh? What is Manasaras? Rex, you saw it, right? Moored at a pier back in Goldmouth. Jin and Co's black boat. Ah, that really impressive one. It runs without being hooked up to a Titan, right? I'm no expert, but yeah, looked like it. Sound awesome! Tora want to see too! You won't get the chance, unless we see those Torna guys again. Nah, 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 nah. Tora changed mind. No need to see. Master Pond changed mind at drop up hat. Well, the Monoceros was pretty sweet, but this is nothing to scoff at either. For sure. It's full of things I've never seen before. Well, that's because this vessel is result of latest breakthroughs in Ardanian tech. Regular folk never so much as set foot on board. You say breakthroughs in technology, but what you mean is salvage stuff, right? Um, not exclusively. I see lots of homegrown improvements as well. Like this, see? Whatever they've stuffed in here, it's been messed with so much, I can't tell what it was to start with. That control panel, it transmits signal to Titan nerves. By running cables to different parts of Titan from here, can control signal flow much more better. What? That's amazing. And this cable itself have 2.4 times the speed and 12 times the capacity of previous iteration. In other words, hit on whole other level to stuff other countries use. Ah. So if they put this in a smaller Titan vessel, it would work even better. Pinpon, correct. <sighs> they seem to be having fun, but it's all gibberish to me. Poppy, what do you think? Oh. Why Master Pawn act so proud? Why Master Pawn act so proud? Hoo hoo! Tora, very glad you ask. That because tech used in this Titan battleship is same as what Poppy's muscles and drivetrain use. Poppy is surprised. But however though, ones that Poppy use are even more improved than these here. Yet more surprise! Are you saying you stole the tack from Mora Dane? Come on, Tora. Is that what you call sporting behavior? 
Dora take calculated risk in service to cause of scientific advancement. <laughs> As a result, not even Ardanian scientists capable of reverse engineer poppy systems. So, no worries there. Upon learning secret of Poppy's birth, Poppy feels sense of unease. Uh, everything fine. Probably. Now, Rex Rex, no time for chip chat. Let's get going. <laughs> Ardanian technology complete. Ah, I guess that was meant for Poppy. These guys didn't even see me. I was standing, like, right on top of them. Very well, then. Um... I didn't get to fully explore everywhere though, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna wander around, explore all this, and if it seemed important, you'll see if it. They seek a fight, fight. They shall get one. Otherwise, no. we will fast forward. Congratulations. Ooh, those things look spoopy. Can't break that open. If they seek a fight, they must have sensed our skill. What the? <laughs> Watch yourself, Rex. You put your feet up over there. All right, Gramps. Um. No. You lost done. the upper hand. Keep yeah. eye on it. What the? You're done. Ha. Let's keep this. Ooh, treasure in here, though. Treasure acquired. No! We lost the upper hand! Don't forget! That's fine. Take that! Behave! Ha! I think I've explored everywhere. At least I feel confident enough to move forward. Maybe I get a key from down there? Morning! Let us face the day with a renewed vigor. further to exit not so fast my dear intruders letting a terrorist from Torna out of my grasp would make me look very bad indeed oh that emerald core crystal you must be the Aegis much as it pains me to admit it it seems Morad was right on the money you know who power is are you trying to capture it too, you ratbag? No, no, language. But of course. The most powerful blade in all of history, with the power to rend all rest asunder. Only a fool would know of that power and not seek to claim it. And I am no fool. Therefore, I will claim her mm. as my own. You cannot argue with such logic. Flaw detected in final step of logic. Sorry, pal. But you've done all the capturing you're gonna do today. Such impertinence for a dirty terrorist. Let's go, Pyra. Got it. Okay. There's no way Time you to lot take are going to win. Now we've got this. Stop talking for a second. Now we've got ourselves a decent sized party. It's worth knowing how to deal with aggro. I dare say you've already noticed, but while the driver is being attacked by an enemy, they'll be marked with a red ring. We call this the aggro marker. The wedges on the marker point to the targeting enemy or enemies showing the direction you're being attacked from. Aggro is a measure of an enemy's aggression towards the drivers they are fighting. The more viciously you attack an enemy, the more it will want to attack you back. Drawing aggro is dangerous for healers. Since they have low HP, they're more likely to be incapacitated by attacks. Make sure to keep Mia's aggro low. Drivers that have defense-oriented classes are better equipped to draw aggro and absorb enemy attacks. So right now, it's better for Tora to have the most aggro. 
Drivers with fighter type classes are the ones that focus on dealing damage to the enemy. That's Rex, so make him the mainstay of your offense. Here's the cheat sheet. Defenders take the hit, healers heal defenders, and fighters hurt the enemy. Well, now you know about aggro and the driver class. That's two things to keep in mind while you're giving Dung Hall what for. Alright. Bullseye! No! You fight yeah. Poppy! Eagle Eye! Bullseye! Yeah. Defense protocol! Activated. Thanks for the support! Split gun! That coward! He's just hiding behind his blade! What? Does common sense elude you? A blade can regenerate from any injury! Whereas if I die, my blade will return to a useless core! So it's okay to use them as a living shield? You weasel! Even if they can regenerate, that doesn't mean blades don't feel pain! <laughs> How cute! The flea bag thinks we should care about blades' feelings! <laughs> I wonder if you can feel pain! Let's show the yeah, gentlemen to now. Now. Fire. We can do what this together! Cool. Steady! Drill! Oh. 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 There we go! For me. Pouch expansion kit. Oh, he's dropped all kinds of orbs. How? A mangy flea bug and a bunch of stinking kids? My triumphant return to more Arden with the Aegis. Oh. Hm. Out like a light. That's what he gets for trying to execute Nia. What? He was trying to take me back to more Arden. Rex, this is a trap. A trap? So they weren't actually going to execute you? No time! Talk later, Rex Rex. We should escape! Master Pawn is right. Chance of reinforcements very high. Let us make haste. Getting out of town would be a good start. I feel bad for that blade. I mean, I know we're trying to escape, but can I take a look around? See if there's any chests? Game tends to reward you for looking around. Ah, there we go. You're all mine. I mean, not an exciting amount of loot, but still oh. there. Huh. Oh, a little too high. And arrived. <laughs> All in one piece. We sure are. Ha, more treasure. You're all mine. Calm your mind. No. Dang it. There's a salvaging point there. Uh oh. Cutscene. These flames again! It's her! With a driver, too, this time. That's Morag, the flame bringer. Morag? Special Inquisitor Morag of Morardain, the most powerful driver in the Empire, and wielder of Bridget, the most powerful blade. So together they're like ultra powerful. It looks like they were waiting for us. Yes, indeed. I did feel like we got away a little too easily. I don't know why I expected Diggle to slow you down at all. It was you, right? You're the one who spread the rumor that I was going to be executed. Just to lure Rex and the others here. You catch on quickly. 
Yes. You certainly proved useful. However, Rex and Pyra are the real price. <laughs> Not quite. The Emerald Core Crystal is the sign of the Aegis. If that blade is indeed the Aegis, then there's something I must do. What do you mean? The power to sunder all rest itself. I cannot allow that to happen again. Hyra destroyed the world. Don't be so stupid. You mean you didn't know? 500 years ago, during the Aegis War, the Aegis sank three continents to the Cloud Sea's bed. Three titans destroyed. I speak not but historical fact. I'm on to you. You want to use Pyra as some kind of weapon. We're not going to let you do that. That is precisely the kind of scenario that I'm I was about to say, that to sounds prevent. like the opposite. And what if we resist? Then I will have to restrain you by force. In that case, I'll make this nice and clear. You will never take her! Then let's see if you have the strength to back up those words, boy. I don't I don't think we're talking on the same page here. Okay. Time to take you down. We can do ha! this together. Yeah, I can am. be different. Oh. 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 Yeah. Defense protocol. Oh. My dead, dead body. Yeah. Oh. Our emotions are Spinning. in two, right? Cut up. My goal's exactly oh. 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 Hit it. No. Cut up. Flame. Hey, I'm See you strong now. Nicely done. What? Pyra! Stubborn child, why don't you just give it up? You'll never get Pyra. She's more than just the Aegis or some kind of weapon she's a living being Pyra has somewhere she needs to go and I'm gonna help her I'm not gonna let you stand in her way This is getting tiresome. The power of the Aegis is formidable, but the driver's skill betrays her. Stay vigilant, Morag. An unknown power lurks within this bow. But of course, this blade he calls Pyra. Your flames burn far stronger than hers, but... Her flames hide something deeper. Is everyone all right? Hanging in there. Those two, very strong. I know. At this rate, we'll never. There has to be a way. Some kind of. She's a fireblade. We've got to find. Water. There! Guys, are you ready to run? Hmm? Sure. Then follow me. Ah, there they are. Pyra, 
Can you manage a full powered blast? Yes! Maybe one or two. That'll do. Predictable boy. Look who's talking. Puppy, no. Roger, Roger. The water tank. So that's their plan. It feels like Poppy does all the work. I feel slighted. How so? They actually held back against me in battle. You think that boy... Did you not see? He could have struck me with that blow, but he averted his aim. He did have good instincts, too. And I'm gonna help her. I'm not going to let you stand in her way. The Aegis. If she is traveling with that boy, perhaps it is worth letting them roam free for a while. You mean... We'll cross paths again. And when we do, we shall see. She seems so cool. For a villain. You rarely say that about villains, to me. I don't think they're following us. Perhaps we're safe, for now. You're right. We should get some rest. I can't go any further. Ah, oh, Tora is pooped as well. <sighs> Often. See you later. Huh? We are grateful for all you've done. We wish you well on your travels. Farewell. I want to reach Elysium. What? I made a promise. I'm taking Pyra to Elysium. It's just... She gave half of her life to save mine. I owe her. Oh, Rex. But half the world seems to be after her. With the... Titans dying off. Living space is running out. That's gonna start wars. And people need weapons to fight wars. That's why they want her. <sighs> if I can prove Elysium exists, maybe I can stop the war that's coming. But... Fighting Morag taught me something. I'm not strong enough. I can't do this alone. Nia, you're a driver. We could really use a companion like you. <laughs> if you wanted. Elysium. Do you really believe in that myth, kid? Well... Pyra told me that she was born there. 
Yet here she is. So it must exist. Right? <laughs> Your logic is almost as good as Dougal's. Listen, Rex. I don't know if you're stupid or just too nice for your own good. But what if Pyra's just lying? What if this is all an act, and one day she turns round and stabs you in the back? Pyra wouldn't do that. Of course I wouldn't. I don't have a knife. So... serious. She... <laughs> <laughs> An emerald core crystal is the sign of the Aegis, huh? Sure, why not? This could be interesting. Really? My lady? I kind of want to see this Elysium for myself now. Maybe it really does exist. It does. An endless field of green among the clouds, huh? If the legends are true, even people like me. Well, I'm glad you decided to stay, Nia, because I did give you a blade. <laughs> you ever feel that way with, like, in video games when you give, like, characters really good gear or whatever? <sighs> I'm sorry. Did I wrap it too tightly? It's fine. I'm fine. See? I can swing it like this, and it doesn't even... Ah, ah, ah. Oh. I knew it. Thanks. I feel much better now. I'm sure that's Nia's poultice doing its job. Thanks. <laughs> Pyra? You hurt too. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Hey, let me help. Thank you, Rex. No worries. Least I can do. There, all done. How's that? Hmm. Looks good. Um, Rex? Look, they're the same. Oh. Uh, yeah? I guess they are. <laughs> It's kind of cute. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah. It really is. I guess... That's probably because you made it, Pyra. <laughs> um, no. What? I didn't mean it like that. You definitely did mean it like You're that. You're just, um, <laughs> really good at making fires. That's all. It's what I do. I'm a little worried that, like, it would, like, catch on to, like, some of those trees. Oh, chapter two, aptitude. 